Andy Mendoza here alongside uh, Stevenson head coach Graham Miller. Coach, congrats on the win, a big one for your guys. Want to ask you real quick about the, uh, the the game plan coming in. Was it was it so offensive forward the game plan? You guys got nine corners, uh, twenty shots on goal. That was obviously a huge, huge, uh, you know, momentum for the team to, to to keep the 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 action on their side of the field. Was that something you guys talked about coming into the game? Yeah, we just we really wanted a more balanced game, and I, and I think you, you saw that tonight. You know, we had a tough one against York the other day where our offense exploded for 14 shots in the first half and then only had five in the second half. So today we just talked about, all right, let's be consistent for both halves. So the fact that, like you said, 20 shots, and it was actually 10 in each half. So we wanted to keep that offense obviously up, yeah, the whole game if we could. And I think, uh, you know, we were able to do that tonight because we made 10 subs and we, well, obviously more subs, but 10 other players got in, you know, a balanced uh, team, 21 guys, you know, and, uh, you know, in and out in the field tonight. And uh, being able to produce the same 45 minutes each half is exactly what we wanted tonight. And something I noticed during the game, it seemed like there was buy-in defensively from all 11 players. It, it was the forwards were coming back to help. The midfielders were really active defensively in the midfield. Is that something you wanted to get your guys you know, get get on your guys about a little bit more to make sure that they were a little bit more aggressive defensively and see if that that couldn't turn into some more scoring opportunities. Yeah, I think we've been a little slack recently in our, our team defense. I think obviously individually we did all right, and we've been working on that. Uh, and and you saw that there was many blocks tonight, guys getting back. I mean, we ended up obviously had to weather the storm the last five minutes or so when they were sending numbers forward, and um, you know, so guys in the midfield did a really good job of marking, getting back, and and they had a really good team. And uh, the fact that we obviously we gave up a kind of soft goal that we wish we'd. Uh, did a little better um, but yeah overall we did the little things right for the majority of the game and, and that led to good team defense there's a few guys we could probably pick to, to point out in this one I, I thought Ryan Muroff had a fantastic game defensively for you guys something you could say about him the freshman playing such big minutes on the back end the one goal that was scored was when he happened to be on the bench I don't think that's a coincidence but he had a great game is there something you could say about him and his growth so far this season yeah Ryan's just got better and better and he's actually played with a little bit of a knock he had uh, a bad injury a few weeks ago but he just you know, even when I brought him off for a little rest second half, he didn't want to come off. And, yeah. I, and that's good because I want players that want to be on. Now, I'll, you know, give him a little rest and then we got him back in. You know, he's got that long throw in. That one, I mean, I thought he was going to score. What a run from him. And so as a freshman, he's playing above his years and, uh, you know, really excited for the future for Ryan. Awesome. Thanks so much for the time, Coach. Congrats again on the win. For more Mustang athletics, you can go to GoMustangSports.com.